Okay, well you may be asking yourself why I'm making a video for a six month old game for some completely random issue uh, that is in the game. Um, but I here here we are at uh, at this juncture. So basically when Starfield came out, I played it for probably about an hour until realizing that my buddy's computer didn't can't run it so I kind of gave up on it but honestly I wasn't too pumped about it anyway because yeah I didn't know about it at the time but you know what uh it has a very controversial thing about it it's it had uh had the ability for you to select pronouns uh in it which you know I don't know I don't know I don't think it belongs in gaming I think it's kind of unnecessary and a little bit ridiculous it goes to show a lot of the bullshit that's happening in gaming nowadays now <laughs> look at this look how easy i was able to find like a a mod that is just easily able to remove it now you also remember that they came out with this mod and they banned it from nexus because they they wanted it to fucking to not allow you able to be able to take out the pronoun option which is hilarious because obviously gamers are going to make it in like five seconds to make the uh, the removal mod. So yeah, it's up and super easy to find still, <laughs> even though even though Nexus uh, banned it. Now let's go to, to Kotaku or because we know that Kotaku is more than infested with woke ideologies. Uh, and let's read the Kotaku arg article that they came out with in September two thousand. 15th, 2023. Nexus, now we know that Kotaku is infested with wokeness. Nexus, one of the largest repositories of fan made games, recently deleted a Starfield mod that removes game options. So this, this is just. Nexus mods isn't phased by toxic comments. If you've been on the internet in the last few years, you know what happened. You know what happened. Lots of angry chuds hopped into forums and social media threads yell at why like, evil senators in front of your eyes so fuck you kotaku what a bunch of cunts hey and then to to learn what they're all about too now let's read some of the comments because as you can probably be aware that it's almost universally disliked uh these things but look at one the ones that are risen to the top imagine being such an asshole and yeah mod that removes a choice for you and only you that weren't going to make anyway just make yourself feel better yeah it's a real weird thing to mod out some people are really insecure <laughs> fuck, fuck off wanting to remove nazis you're the real bad guy imagine being so fucking thin-skinned that your optional pronouns bother you enough to download a fucking mod oh People get so angry over this shit. Look at this. I think it's all happened due to time. I saw this mod in question and upload. I laughed the crap baby made it and reported it. <laughs> Fuck off. Give the work, sir, ma'am. Lord Sinclair's work it is. Report actual options. These comments would for sure not be allowed for Kotaku. Just a whole bunch of just, just nasty people, hey? There's a handful of great reactionary mods that are more that added more pronouns to the game. I like that and gave me a chuckle. <laughs> Whoop the kill the die on. Oh fuckers. Aren't these fuckers? So anyways, no, you can easily get the pronoun change mod and it gets rid of them in in seconds. <laughs> Like and this, this looks like a pretty awesome site. I'm sure Starfield will get its footing, but it needs it needs like another year to cook, I think. And I'll dive dive into it. It needs some needs some definite mod uh, modding help, and hopefully this will develop more. Now, people uh, people clearly were not happy with the fucking all this. So we have. Please do not award me. This is a serious question. Alternatives for woke pronoun mod. Just keep reposting the room of mod mod to retire over and you're moving it. Let's remember to keep the dialogue respectful and considerate, even when viewpoints are out. You know, it shouldn't be shouldn't be controversial to say that that shit doesn't belong anywhere in video games. 
Some people don't believe in freedom. They wish to control everything else one can do. This is the case. It looks like it's time to protest at the developer's office. Jesus. It's a bit far. Here's a trick. Open the game folder right in the eye and open it. Let's pick your PC and throw it in the window and then find a school bus to get on. Mirror for no pronoun mod. <laughs> the person gets it. And that was right when it came out, too. September. I remember. I recall that well. Dude, that's seriously the finest thing. Here's a trick. Alright, for that. See, people are obviously always up in arms about this shit. It, it, it's fucked. And honestly, like, really, why? Why pronouns in a fucking video game? Like, seriously. He, him. And as far as I recall, that's, like, never used again. It's just for that. It's this type of shit in video games. It just keep, it keeps getting worse. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> he hit they them. So anyways, like, Kotaku's a fucking piece of shit garbage site. I was, didn't know this. How the fuck was Star Wars even work? Hello, blank, blank. There I am. Blank, blank, blank. Alternatives, pronouns. This is the type of shit of, like, pronouns in video games where it's going to reach a breaking point. Now, where another place I wanted to touch on is that you know, people were people were a little bit taken back by God of War Rad, Ragnarok. Um, you know, I like the God of War series. I really do like Kratos and the Mythos, but people were really like, "Whoa, wait a second! Like, this is right." God of War Ragnarok does not feel work. right. And now we know that it was infected with sweet baby bullshit, which you know is a new uh, corporation that does this. So this is a really interesting core article I came across. And this, this basically has to do with what do people feel about Agbora being portrayed as black in God of War Ragnarok. I'm a bit unsure how I feel. I'm trying to keep an open mind about it, but I don't want it to be, f I don't want it just to be forced diversity, which we know it is. We knew that sweet baby fucking did, did all this stuff into gaming and got into our fucking games and fuck them all up so what do people think about this on just a general random forum where someone's asking for their personal opinions then they're saying it's called blackwashing and no matter who tries to defend it by throwing accusations of racism they cannot change that mass sophos defend defense thus they're fictional characters they can be any race fictional sure but created by whites who at the time did not know blacks existed Whites cannot call me racist because of, uh, I'm biracial, so they're kind of on luck. These same people would never depeck African anti anism deities as white people. So here's what it is. Like, I mean, you really, you really had to put a black character in God of War Ragnarok. There's a completely, completely mythological Vikings always going to have, you know, predominantly... Scandinavian. Now let's read what Brian H says here. There, there is no African DNA ever found in Scandinavia. Scandinavia, and the fact is, look up. The bottom line is, yes, they made her black to please the woke crowd in hopes to gain favor of the critics who would somehow rate it poorly. Now that's really truly what they do nowadays. Is they'll take and they'll make things that are a certain way to please certain groups. It, it's very messed up, and it needs to be out of games. Thanks to scientists and discovered there's never been any African DNA found in Scandinavian Viking grave sites. So, I mean, that's a valid point. I mean, seriously, like, why? Why is there that in the game? I feel like black watching European folklore in the uh, American media represents the continued represent repression of the black African history in America. And it's not progressive, but it's regressive. This is so true. I mean, what they're doing is doing more harm by taking other cultures and making them a different. They're they're dishonoring their own uh, history and cultures. For centuries, Europeans have tried to repress this. Uh, a lot of the endemic African artifacts were destroyed by West Western anthropologists for their expeditions to Sub-Saharan Africa. 
Simply inserting black characters in the Western folklore it only first forces this centuries-old racist ideology that black people have no history and culture worth mentioning, and they're simply living in the shadow of the white man's culture and history. So this this is very true. Like for them to do that, they're making themselves worse. Um, and we see things like Netflix's Cleopatra, and I'm sure many more other examples. So I often go, yeah, why why not? These people are honestly being like, uh, yeah, we knew it was messed up. <laughs> we didn't like it. We didn't like it at all. I know this is year old, but I feel inclined to respond. I'm a huge fan of the series. I played every other God War game, and them making Argo of Black is a very clear message about what this is game is going to be about, and I do not want to be a part of it. Race swapping characters is racist, period. The fact that they know that Kratos' son is going to be in a relationship or it makes the destructive agendas even more clear. Next God of War, pfft, sorry, it's infested. It's gonna be, it's gonna be bad. Personally, I find it a bit jarring and also a bit annoying, honestly. God of War Ragnarok is a sequel to the latest God of War game. It's set in Scandinavia with Kratos coming up against creatures, races, and gods from North Scandinavian mythology. Agros is a giantess in North mythology, and one of Jotun happened to be Loki's lover and the mother of many children named Hel, the dread wolf Fenrir, in the world of Spent Jomagir. Is she gonna look like this and that? So like, what the hell? That looks so out of play. If you were told me that that's a god from a God of War game, I would tell you you're fucking crazy. <laughs> I mean, that's what you think of uh, any any of that. Um, for me, it made sure I won't be buying this game. I can't I can't stand forced diversity at all. It destroyed the Rings of Power TV series all, also. And someday I hope people realize not entertainment needs to have black people. In it. That's very true. I mean, you can make things, but honestly, don't make them, don't make them just strictly because of that. And that's what's causing all this drama with the sweet baby stuff. Uh, is, is this kind of shit? They're they're really, they're really going fucking hard on it, and it's people are not responding well. <laughs> So let's read some more of these comments, because, yeah, this is interesting. Based on what we saw of them, how would go over a Ragnarok event, play with cars that do not risk you, blah, blah, blah. And there's, there's this person that obviously getting into it. Trying tokenisms, mirror racism, the token, a black skin, a culture, a white person, you appear, appear diverse, black or white, everyone should be insulted by this. It's very true. Very true. I mean, I, I would h honestly hate if they started just inserting things in the, uh, no matter who, what race you were. This is not the same Kratos, poor Kratos. I mean, if you go back to the other God of, older God of War games, they they were absolutely fucking amazing. And to see them do that to Kratos is, is heart-wrenching. It's fucking heart-wrenching what happened to Kratos. I used to love the old God of War games. Nowadays, it's so cringe that I just, I'm like, oh, no. Hmm. Okay, now it's gotten into the sound. So. But anyways, we, we got in, we got a pretty sol solid answer from these ones. Uh, highest upvoted one. Uh, this person talking about that. <laughs> and this, this stretches to ev anything else too, because this is like, this, this is, is, why are there black main characters in the show Vikings? Cul cultural appropriation for people to laugh at. Nothing funny to watch them in desperate something they could never be. Sadly, it's the fault of the scoundrels. Behind the scenes of Hollywood is, is cancerous in recent TV shows. Everybody's kind of like awkwarded out by all this. And you know, like the pronoun thing starts with that. It's like, th that for me was so weird seeing that in the game. I was just like, why? <laughs> you know why? They, 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 just, they just can't help but do it anymore. And it's like, you know, you have a video game. It's so unnecessary. For ever, for like pronouns and like what someone's gender is never gonna be relevant in a video game. 
never it's never it's never gonna be a realized thing that there are that there needs to be someone who has to be called this and uh, it's just just make good games that's it <laughs> make good games make sure if they're if the history calls for people to be all white then it should be all white <laughs> like, like historically people are a certain way and to go against that is is not only insulting yourself but insulting other things too as well and there's certainly something to be said by uh for video games inserting the 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 gender politics of of modern society into video games it's just unnecessary it's completely wrong it's something that there's clearly people fighting on both sides of there's people fighting for it and there's people fighting against it um yeah, no, that's my thoughts and opinions on it. It's an interesting topic. Uh, it's clearly not going to get better. <laughs> Pro fucking pronouns. That guy's funny. Uh, yeah, I mean, Starfield was a missed opportunity. I assume it'll, I'm assuming it'll be a fairly okay $30 game with mods. But, it, like, for them to have crossed that line already, you know it's only going to get worse for us people. Save us, Todd Howard. 